This week, ladies and gentlemen, was without doubt one of the most extraordinary weeks in the history of the state. The true extent of the crisis in our banking system was finally revealed. The solution apparently will see us, our children, and possibly even our grandchildren pay the price for the reckless way in which bankers lent money to developers. To discuss how we got here and the state we now find ourselves in, would you welcome please broadcaster and journalist Mr Matt Cooper, Irish independent columnist Kevin Myers, Irish Times columnist Sarah Kerry, and the editor of the Irish Daily Star, Jair Collin. Welcome all. Thanks for coming to see us. I will start, Jair, if I may, with you, because clearly there's, an, there's a huge amount of anger in the country this week. You tapped into it with that, uh, some might say, incendiary uh, headline on, on Wednesday morning. Uh, I read it out on the radio. We got a huge response to it from people, uh, the majority in favour of this headline. Why did you run such a forceful story at the top of the paper that day? Well, as you said, I, I suppose I was trying to tap into the sense of anger that is there. And yeah. I don't believe has been adequately reflected, represented in the media so Why not? far. I don't know. I think we've been concentrating, I suppose, on the figures which are ginormous. And it, it just struck me when I was listening to the minister the other evening in my glass bubble office in the middle of the, the newsroom that uh, somebody had dropped 10 billion. Uh, before we, he stood up to speak, we were 10 billion better off. And as a by the way, he introduced this 10 billion extra for Anglo uh, uh, nearly near the end of his speech. Let's have a look at the headline just to remind people who didn't buy or see the paper that day, uh, they deserve to be shot, is the headline. And you see the faces there of Sean Fitzpatrick and Michael Fingleton. And, and you, you've chosen these two people, uh, you've chosen that language about being shot and so forth. Why, again, would you go so forcefully? I think I was one of those. I'm old enough to, to have been serving Latin. And then I went uh, to the vernacular. I believe in the vernacular, very much, in fact. And this is the conversation that's going on in pubs, clubs, shops and homes, all o and streets all over the country. This is the language the, people are this using. This is the language people are using to express their annoyance and outrage and fear and anxiety. Yeah. And I don't. I think it, they deserve that. And referring I, to them as bastards. In, yeah, I in think the they are page. bastards. The ways they behave. They're destroyed. Not alone. They're 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 traitors. They're financial terrorists. Uh, they have blackguarded this country. They've destroyed, destroyed massive equity. They've betrayed their uh, shareholders, the stockholders. They've betrayed the people of this country, and they've betrayed the ordinary, decent bankers who work in their uh, Matt Cooper, financial terrorists. Uh, uh, other yeah, and there are many, many more than just those two as well. I mean, I think. You what know, did you think of the, of that, the, the way it was portrayed? Even well, uh, the, the night before when I was doing my radio program on the Last Word, interviewing people, and that actual thought came into my mind in the same way as you know, you're having a chat in the pub, you're talking. Now, talking to Jerry subsequently the following night, as he said, he doesn't mean it literally. It is sort of an, ex an expression as such. But I do think there is a certain degree of punishment has yet not been meted out to these people. We saw Sean Fitzpatrick this week flying off to Spain, and apparently, as a former director of Aer Lingus, he gets free flights. You know, this is just extraordinary, What's the stuff that goes on. What do, what do you well, want meted out to these Michael people? Fingleton, just for example. Yeah. Michael Fingleton took a million quid bonus last year out of Irish Nationwide before he went. And we were told that he had to be paid that because he was contracted for that. He took a 27 million euro pension package away with him. Sean Fitzpatrick apparently is getting something like 10,000 euro a week yeah. in pension rights. I think we should be seizing their bank accounts. You literally should also literally be seizing their houses. They've, 